In this video, we're going to talk about determining net stack temperature. So in order to take the net stack temperature, you need to drill a little bit of a hole into your flue pipe, enough to get a thermometer in there. Now try to get a nice metal thermometer, uh, the one on our meter, uh, that might melt some of those leads. So we just use a metal thermometer on there. Now this stack temperature, you can see right now, we're running about 550 degrees. You do not want to touch that stack temperature. Don't put your hand on it. Don't lean against it. Uh, that gets pretty hot. So in order to take our stack temperature, we take the temperature in our stack, and we'll say it's 560 degrees. Then we need to know the ambient temperature. The ambient temperature is just that temperature that's around us, what will be going through the return air. And we're sitting at 76 degrees. Now you just take your stack temperature and subtract it from the ambient temperature. So we're gonna run out about 484 degrees. That's our net stack temperature. We're still climbing a little bit on this, um, but we got the uh, general idea of it. Now be careful even when you're taking this thermometer out, that end's gonna be super hot. Just set that down there. Don't grab onto it with your fingers or anything. So what does net stack temperature tell us about the furnace? Net stack temperature should be between 330 and 500 degrees Fahrenheit. You start getting above 700, that's really bad. It's showing us the efficiency. If our stack temperature is too high, we're wasting that heat. That heat that should be going into your space is going out the stack. So that really decreases our efficiency. So getting that stack temperature down makes that furnace run a little bit better. What can cause higher than normal stack temperatures? Running too much excess air. If you have inefficient heat transfer, eventually the heat's not effectively being used in the system. What are the byproducts of oil combustion? We'll get CO2, water vapor, carbon monoxide. Those are just some of the byproducts. What does the term steady state efficiency refer to? How much usable heat is created when a furnace is running? Oil is about 80%, but that uh, gives you a good efficiency test. And three functions of the oil burner nozzle, atomizing, metering, and patterning. So that's just a quick video on determining net stack temperature.